Hey guys, how's it going? So today I've got the Luminet light therapy glasses. These are portable light therapy option. Really one of the better options on the market today. They've been around for a really long time and this is the latest version. Now, if you guys aren't familiar with light therapy or light therapy glasses, these are just something that you use in the morning to align your circadian rhythm, helps with hormones, helps with sleep, seasonal affective disorder, insomnia, uh, really useful in the winter. So we are going to see how they stack up against the AO, which I think is another excellent choice. There's things I like, there's things I don't like. We're gonna go over that, but first let's go ahead and unbox them. Okay, so here's the Luminette. And it comes packaged in its carrying case, which is just kind of like a hard shell. Here you have room for accessories, the charging cable and the charging brick. Here are the actual glasses. An adjustable nose piece. I'm gonna peel off this film, looks like. Micro USB charging cable and a brick, microfiber, silicone ear uh, wing tips, the registration card, and the manual. That's it. So here they are. The Luminette glasses are one of the brightest and most effective portable light therapy options on the market. They have kind of a special hologram here, which does this interesting thing. I'll turn them on to bright. You'll see sort of a rainbow on my eye, but most of the bright light is reflected off the cheek and you don't really see it up here so much. So they do a good job of making it bright without the glare being too uncomfortable. So in order to use the glasses, there's a little power button up here. You just press it once for low, once more for medium, once more for high. So that's 500 lux, 1000 lux, and 1500 lux. So in order to position the Luminet glasses properly, Luminet recommends that the blue band in the rainbow is on sort of the bottom portion of your eye. They give you an adjustable nose piece here that you can just pull out and put back in. So I've found for me, it's kind of on the bottom there and that feels pretty good. Now, when it comes to using the individual brightness settings, low is recommended to be used for 60 minutes. Now, these will automatically shut off when the time is up. So if you're using it on low, it's gonna run for 60 minutes. It'll blink three times and shut off. If you're using it on medium, that's 30 minutes, and high is only 20 minutes. You don't really have to remember how long to use it, which is nice. You can long press on the power button to shut them off if you need to shut it off before the time is up. When you first turn them on, you're gonna get three little LEDs here. This means it's fully charged. If you have one LED, they recommend charging it. So the charge time is two hours from empty and it should last you about five sessions. So about a week or so. Now I found them pretty comfortable. They weigh about twice as much as these do. They're a little snug in the back. I have a big head. So your mileage may vary there. There's more weight up in the front, so it's possible that the nose could get a little uncomfortable. I've seen some reports of that. But overall, they're really nice. I like them. They're slick looking. The hologram's kind of cool. Now the Luminet does come with a carrying case. It's pretty much the same size as the AO case. Perfect for travel if you want to use this for jet lag. You can fit the charging equipment in here. You could even put earplugs in there. So before we get into testing and Henry, I want to talk about something that I was not a fan of. So when Luminet first came out, they had an app. Now this app, as far as I can tell, is only available on Android. And the last time it was updated was in 2016. At the time of this review, it is 2023. So that's about seven years of non-development. Suffice to say the app has been abandoned, but these still emit Bluetooth radiation. I am here in our EMF canopy bed. I wanted to show you guys the Luminat emitting Bluetooth radiation. Turn it off and it's gone. Now, we did test these, like we do with all of our light therapy products, with Henry. Henry gives us the ability to measure the light in various different brightness settings and at different areas on the nose so that we can compare these with the other glasses. So the Luminet glasses emit an 8,000 Kelvin blue enriched white light. So you'll see that really large blue hump with the phosphor bump at the end, which gives it the whiteness. 
Now, what's nice about this light is that it feels a little bit more natural than some of the other glasses, like the Retimer, which is just a green light, or the AO, which is blue. The con, of course, is that it's gonna be a lot brighter. As I said before, it goes all the way up to 1500 lux, where at the highest brightness setting, the AO is only hitting like 90 lux. Now, they're really not that much more effective though. I'm now gonna put on the screen two different graphs. So what we have here is lux and circadian light. So as you can see, the lux for the AO is much lower than all of the brightness settings for the luminette, but the circadian light for the AO is pretty much on par with the Lumina at medium. Now circadian light is basically an algorithmic weighted calculation of all of the light being emitted from a device and how well it may or may not suppress melatonin. It's sort of a proxy measurement developed by the Lighting Health and Research Center. It's not perfect, but it's the best thing we have to compare these kinds of things, I think. Based on these graphs, it's pretty obvious that if you wanna use the Luminet on the highest brightness setting, it is more effective than the AO, really almost twice as effective. However, some people did complain about it being too bright. If you're photosensitive at all, or if you're prone to headaches, this might be too much for you. And so the problem is you can use them on the low setting, but at that point, you'd be better off with the AO, which is not only more effective than the Luminet on low, but it's also much less bright. I didn't find Find I had any issues using these on the brightest setting. I actually kind of liked it. Now, one of the things the Luminet is better at than the AO is effectiveness with glasses. Because of the way the Luminet sits on your nose, using glasses with them is fairly easy, right? Just like that. With the AO, they have to go over the glasses. Now they do fit quite well, but if your glasses have a blue hint on them, they're going to block some of the light. And since this only emits blue light, whereas this emits some green and some yellow, which helps. You could just not wear glasses, but if you find yourself needing to wear them, the Luminat might be a better choice. Now I do wanna show you a graph that compares the actual spectral distribution of the AO's light with the Luminat on low, medium, and high. As you'll see, the AO is pretty much peaking at the exact same amount of strength as the Luminet is. Now, of course, the Luminet has a ton of extra energy in it, almost three times as much total power output, which gives it that extra effectiveness and boost when you're using it on high. But the AO is surprisingly effective at the very low lux levels that it puts out, which is one of its big advantages. Something to keep in mind if you're looking for one. They give you a two year warranty, which is kind of cool. It's a little bit longer than most things at a year. There's a 30 day money back guarantee. Now Lucimed, the company that makes these glasses also sell a newer device called the Drive, which kind of hooks onto your car's visor and shines down what looks like up around a 470 nanometer light. I'm gonna be reviewing that just because I wanna measure it and see how it compares to these in terms of the effectiveness and how the glare is and if you can use it while it's dark. So stay tuned if that's something you're interested in. My final thoughts on the Luminet. If you're looking for the most effective portable light therapy device, it's the Luminet. The AO, I think, is probably still my favorite just because it's lighter, it's more comfortable, it's not even remotely as bright, and it doesn't emit Bluetooth radiation. In my opinion, it takes the cake. Now, the old AO did emit Bluetooth the new one doesn't. So if you see that somewhere, just wanna clear that up. If you guys wanna check out any of the reviews for these things, they should be on the YouTube channel. We do also have written reviews. The links to all that's gonna be below. If you wanna pick these up, got a link to that below. And uh, we'll see you guys next time.